local service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. At Bronders Landfill, keeping our community safe is the most important thing we do. Our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.bronderslandfill.com. Or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. An exceptional car buying experience is closer than you think. Mike Burke's Ford and Blackshear has the best prices, service, and selection. Why go anywhere else? At Mike Birch, you don't have to haggle, and you'll get top dollar for your trade. Our finance team's ready to help, even when others can't. No matter where you are, buying a new car has never been easier than at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear and at MikeBirchFord.com. Right on the corner, right on the price. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. Jessup Premium Storage, 1455 South First Street is Jessup's best place to store your valuables. Whether yeah, it's furniture between rooms yeah. or just a place yep. for the overload, call Jessup Premium Storage at 530803. Yes. That's 530803. Jessup Premium Storage units are indoors, climate controlled, and they have 24 hour surveillance and on site management. You have 24 hour, 7 day a week access to your unit. Sizes range from 5x5 five five to 10x25. They also have outside covered and uncovered spaces available for vehicles, boats, trailers, and RVs. Jessup Premium Storage on the Waycross Highway in Jessup. And good morning. You're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO-FM in Jessup, 105.5 on your FM dial. But Jeopardy here with you on this Monday morning, the sixth day of November. Be careful when you're driving out there this morning. Fog, some heavy in areas, so slow down. Make sure your headlights are on low beam. Be careful if you pull, pull it out from the side or coming beside you. All right, let's uh, start the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Black Shear by Jessup Premium Storage, located out here on the Waycross Highway. Also by Republic Services and Murphy Builder Supply, located on Northeast Broad Street in Jessup. Good morning, Bob. How are you doing? I'm good. you got to be smiling this morning. Wayne County wins big. Georgia wins. Good weekend. Yeah. Mr. Jack. Jags win. Yeah. Doggone Falcons. Your best receiver drops the ball, and they could have won. I should have won. Yeah, how did he drop that ball? Well, I just... Those things happen, I guess. All right, well, let's get into the Butch and Bob show this morning. We've got uh, a couple of uh, guests with us this morning, it's, uh, a couple of uh, different sets of guests. We have Brian Mansfield in this morning, Odom Recreation Director. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? We are doing good. How's things in Odom, Georgia, home of the Blue Jays? Hey, your things are going great. Well, like I said, we're holding down the Ford up there. Uh, All right. Everything's going wonderful. All right. Now, you've got a couple of events coming up. I know one right now is being uh, advertised over the radio. Tell us about this event coming up, the wrestling event. Yeah, uh, Saturday night, we got a professional wrestling event coming, uh, the APW out of Statesboro. And uh, we, the last one we had back in May went so good, we wanted to bring back uh, another event, and we've actually bring in a different organization and uh, a lot bigger organization than mm -hmm. what we had before. Uh, matter of fact, one of their stars is uh, Wayne County's own Clay Teston. Uh, and Mr. Andy, he's been really good helping us promote this event. And I tell you what, it's going to be a big event because, like I said, the last one went so good, we decided to bring in some bigger stars this time. So we got a couple of... Uh, bigger name and bigger, bigger volume, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> big we, boys. We got, uh, we got former WWE star uh, Stevie Richards and uh, Johnny Swinger coming in and uh, matter of fact, Stevie Richards, he hasn't been long not, uh, hasn't been long not been featured on t uh, TV. He's been on there quite a while and, uh, just bring in some bigger names and, and, and making it grow and hope we can continue to grow it and, uh, continue to have bigger wrestling events in Odom as we move forward. The goal of this is everything goes good. We're looking at having, uh, the organization itself, 
uh, wants to have a monthly event in Odom. So they just want to kind of see how things go. And, and which organization is this? A, uh, APW. They're out APW. of uh, yeah, all pro wrestling out of Statesboro. And they, they actually uh, perform up in Statesboro every Saturday. So Okay. Uh, now, all this is done at the newly renovated Odom Gym, the former um, Odom <laughs> Elementary Gym. Y'all completely renovated it. Tell us the improvements that you made to the gym there in, in Odom to make it where it's a comfortable place to go watch a venue? Well, one thing we done was, uh, and the biggest thing uh, was that air condition, and uh, we added, and we put in a brand new floor, we painted everything, um, we got a handicapped bathroom, and uh, down in the corner that's big and nice, I mean, you can fit a wheelchair in and everything, we made our concession stand bigger, into a uh, concession slash ticket booth uh, and also we added acoustic panels and I'll get the, how those can be used here in, in a little bit but we added acoustic panels and I tell you since we added them uh, they had the community worship service for Odom Day in there and they said the sound was unbelievable they said it, it, I mean it was ten times better than it's ever been and, and they, everybody was comfortable matter of fact they had to go turn the air uh, uh, because it, it was about to freeze. Okay. Now tell us uh, once again um, about the event this uh, this Saturday night. How much the tickets are, where they can get the tickets, and any other pertinent information you want the uh, folks to know about this uh, wrestling event coming up in Odom this Saturday night. Okay. Yeah. The event's going to be at the Odom City Gym, uh, 516 North Church Street, and um, it's also uh, it's going uh, doors open at 6:30 and the uh, bell time is 7:30. But at 6:30, Stevie Richards and Johnny Swinger is going to be doing meet and greets. Uh, so you get there early for that. Ticket prices are $15 for ringside and $10 for general mission and $5 for students K through 12. Uh, high school students are going to have to show an ID. To get in for five dollars. Okay. So uh, tickets are fifteen, ten, and five. Ringside, general mission, and then the student tickets. Uh, like I said, it's going to be uh, at Odom City Gym. Uh, doors open six thirty. Bell time at seven thirty. And uh, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great time of uh, uh, professional wrestling and just a great time for the families to come out, bring the kids. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if anybody have, has any questions about the wrestling event coming up at Odom this Saturday night, um, who can they call? Uh, they can call me on my cell phone. It's uh, 912-294-4192. Okay, uh, Brian Mansfield. Yeah, and, okay. uh, uh, and also tickets right now, if you want to buy them in advance, you can. There's going to be tickets at the door. but. Uh, tickets are being sold at Odom City Hall. They're also being sold at uh, Prime South Bank. Um, I think Katie has them up at Prime South. And so, getting just up here at Prime South yeah, at, Odom, at Odom City that's, Hall. That's correct. And the funds were uh, that y'all put on from this, these events, where do the funds go? Uh, we just put them back to go put on the next event. Um, we've actually got an event fund. These are just basically community events we do, just give families something to do. And draw people into Odom. Just draw people into okay. Odom, and, and also not only into Odom, but to the county, and, uh, and, and just have a good time with families. You know, like I said before, when I was younger, there was always something to do with your family, and that's right. something we kind of want to get back to. Okay. All this going on in Odom this coming Saturday night, the big wrestling event, and uh, Brian Mansfield in here, the Odom Recreation Director, and one more event that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, and also one more thing on the rest. I'll be back on Friday, and I'll bring you all some tickets to give away Good. on the radio. Good, we'll uh, give them away Friday. The yeah. other event is the following weekend, on November the 18th, uh, we have the gospel group, The Shepherds, coming. Uh, they've been uh, they've been featured on all the Christian channels, and uh, pretty much everybody knows them. They're a big gospel group, and uh, they had an open date on their schedule and on their tour, and uh, they filled it with us, and we appreciate that. Um, and tickets for there's really not tickets being sold for that night, that event. It's a minimum five dollar donation. You can donate what you want. You know okay, we appreciate five dollar donation. Yeah, we uh, appreciate any donations, and you, but you can donate what you want. Uh, and it's five dollars minimum. And that event's going to start at six o'clock uh, on November eighteenth, Saturday, so Saturday night. week. 
Okay, yeah. on November 18th at 6 o'clock there at the Odom City Gym, and the Shepherds coming in, Gospel Southern Gospel Group. Yep, yeah, uh, the Shepherds coming in, and also Hannah Thornton's going to open up for them okay. uh, with about a four yeah. or five song set. So it's going to be a good night. If you've never heard the Shepherds before come out, uh, they are an amazing gospel group. Okay, a couple of big events coming up in Odom at the Odom City Gym. you got Rashley this coming uh, Saturday night. And uh, doors, I think you said, open up at 6.30. Wrestling starts at 7.30. You'll have a meet and greet with a couple of the wrestlers, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, beforehand, about 30 minutes before bell time. And tickets are available to Prime South Bank here in Jessup and Odom City Hall in Odom. If you have any questions about the events, you can always call Brian Mansfield, the Odom Recreation Director, at 912-294-4192. And, uh, Brian, I just think it's great that Odom was able to get that uh, gym from the old... Uh, Odom Elementary School, now they've got their new one, and y'all have renovated it, put air conditioning in it, put uh, sound panels in it, redid the floor, bigger concession stand, handicap uh, bathroom. Uh, these monthly and looks like almost bi-monthly events that are going on right now is just a, a good way for folks to, to come and have a good time there in Odom. It is, and that's what we want. We want something all the time, and uh, also the homecoming committee for the uh, city, they're putting on some events in there. They've got a father-daughter dance coming up in February. So uh, it, it, there's a lot of stuff going on in Odom. And uh, on the rest, and we got a lot of spot or some sponsors that helped us. Okay, uh, that's, that's, that's helping. Uh, the main sponsors: Tim's Home Medical, Georgia Paint, and Nipper Construction. And then we got associate sponsors. Um, uh, so smoking glass, up. smoking <laughs> glass, wind tenting. Prime South Bank, uh, Boykin Steel and Crane, uh, Blue Jay Restaurant, Notum, Sybil's Restaurant here in Jessup, Blue Collar Heating and Air, Connor Law Group, uh, and they all are being tremendous help to us, and okay. we appreciate it. That's how we're getting to bring in these wrestlers that we are. Yeah, they get that upfront money to you, so you can go ahead and get everything set and done. Well, Brian, we look forward to having you back here on Friday with those uh, free ticket giveaways for the wrestling, and you give us an update on what's going to be happening there at this event coming up Saturday night, big wrestling event in Odom at the Odom Center Gym. That's right. All right. We'll be back Friday. Okay, Brian, have a good day. Thanks. Well, we've got more guests coming up here on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show in one minute. It's the Wayne County Young Farmers Hall Truck Bowl, Friday, November 10th, and Saturday, November 11th at the J.C. Fairgrounds in Jessup. Join the Wayne County Young Farmers for lots of family fun and entertainment. Get ready for the Truck Bowl. Watch the two- and four-wheel drive modified trucks, two-wheel drive blower trucks, two-wheel drive pro street trucks, the four-wheel drive pro stock trucks, and the four-wheel drive diesel trucks. The Wayne County Young Farmers Fall Truck Bowl, Friday, November 10th, and Saturday, November 11th at J.C. Fairgrounds in Jessup. Both Friday night and Saturday night, 7 p.m. Concessions will be available and no alcoholic beverages allowed. At the Jessup J.C. Fairgrounds, Highway 84, across from the Wayne County Young in Jessup. This Friday and Saturday night, 7 p.m., both nights. For more information, call Franklin Birch at 579-6647 or go to WCYF.net. Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, 105.5 FM. we got a couple more guests here before we get to them. Uh, Bob, once again, update folks on the uh, team that Wayne County is going to be playing in the first round of state playoff action this Friday night. I know that you mentioned it in sports. Thomas County Central. Thomas County Central, we know them well, don't we? Yeah, played in the scrimmage earlier. Right, and so they'll be coming into town. And uh, as the your interview with the coach there said that if we continue to win, it looks like we could have three or four home games right here in Jessup. Well, we never want to see this was here. We never want to see it. Yeah, just have to win. All right. Do you think Georgia's going to stay on top of the um, that pole? I believe so. You believe so? I don't think it's going to change after the weekend. I believe that tomorrow night it'll be Georgia 1, Bama 2, Notre Dame 3, Clemson 4. Okay. Still the same since they all won. Uh, I can't believe the way that Ohio State got whipped up on. I mean, that was... That was I, I, liked, I liked it personally. Did you? Okay. And uh, Florida's still looking for a new coach, are they? Yeah, still looking for a new coach. Okay. Tennessee's looking for a coach. Georgia Southern's looking for a coach. There's a lot of teams looking for a coach. All right. Well, folks, if you if you got any, um, you know, desires to be a coach, there's a lot of, lot of open places out there. <laughs> 
<laughs> got your Georgia hat on this morning. All right, we got a couple more guests in here this morning from Turning Point Worship Center. We got Justin Mitchell, the pastor of Turning Point, and we got Jordan Davis, the worship pastor. Excuse me, guys. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for letting us come. How are y'all doing this morning? Good, good. This guy got a couple of guys here, not afraid to be in front of the mic. They're used to it all the time. <laughs> So, uh, Justin, tell us what's going on at Turning Point that y'all wanted to come in this morning and talk about. Well, appreciate you letting us come hang out with you for a few minutes. This upcoming Sunday, uh, you know, this, uh, this weekend is we're celebrating Veterans Day. And uh, this upcoming Sunday, we've got some special Veterans Day services. We want to honor all of our veterans right here in Wayne County. Because uh, I, I, for one, I know all of us in this room are thankful for our veterans, you know, for this country that we live in the freedoms that we have. So this Sunday at 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m., we're going to be honoring all of our veterans uh, in the services. Got some special presentations going to be made uh, at our 10.30 service that uh, this upcoming Sunday. The Honor Guard's going to be with us, and they're going to be presenting the uh, colors. And uh, which Honor Guard is that? Uh, it is the... I don't know. It's one, <coughs> one Mr. Uh, Kevin Smiley. The okay, yeah. so it's an honor guard here. It's going to be with y'all at the uh, 1030 That's service, right? right? 1030 so you'll have a 9 o'clock service That's and right. a 1030 service at Turning Point Worship Service. The exact address on that, just in case folks uh, don't know. 1810 South Palm Street, right here in Jessup. Yep, South Palm Street there, right at the... Um, uh, the old bypass, I mean, uh, the Sunset Boulevard, Sunset yeah. and, and South Palm, basically in that area. Yeah, you got Just go to South Palm, go down, you know, all you do is go down uh, Sunset and turn there on South Palm, go down a little ways, and there they are on your left. You got it. Yeah. So th they're going to be there presenting the colors uh, for us, and we've also got special guests going to be singing. Yeah, we've got uh, some folks coming in from the community. Um, Miss uh, Rachel Tillman Phillips are uh, going to be singing the national anthem for us. Uh, she's a, actually a voice teacher, local voice teacher here for some, the kids in the area, a wonderful singer. Uh, then our worship team is going to be doing some special music and some great things. Uh, we've got a, a, a guy coming in who actually attends our church, are going to be playing taps for us. and uh, It's going to be a real nice service, and we're excited about it, uh, putting it on for the community and uh, just inviting everybody to come out. And uh, also, we don't forget about the lunch after. Uh, yes, yeah, so after the actual services, well, uh, we've actually our, our church has put in a, a, a special flag poles uh, with a special pad, and we're going to be raising the uh, American flag, uh, a Christian flag, and also a flag for Turning Point. And uh, we're dedicating that uh, American flag and this pad to all the veterans of Wayne County. We're going to be doing that this upcoming Sunday after the 1030 service. Then once that concludes and we've dedicated uh, that flag in honor of all of our precious veterans here in Wayne County, uh, we've got a special lunch that's uh, been donated. Some precious folks have helped us out with that. And uh, we're inviting all the veterans. going to be in the social hall there. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be, be right point. here behind the main auditorium. And, and uh, we're going to have a lunch and feed all our veterans, their families. And even if you don't attend Turner Point and you're a veteran, you're more than welcome to come be with us. We just want to show you some love and honor you. Okay. So Sunday. Now, uh, Turning Point Worship Service, what was the f uh, first year y'all started? Because y'all came on the Butch and Bob show and, and when it was in its infancy, when y'all were just a baby. Tell us about that. You start, I just, very quickly. It was actually the first, it was Super Bowl Sunday, 2009. In 2009. 2009. Yep. Okay, 2009, and y'all have grown from a small area to to the auditorium there at the uh, college, and, and now you're out there at the great facility out there on South Palm Street. And y'all two have been together all those years out there as pastor and worship pastor. How do y'all get? How do y'all do that and get along so well all these years? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just keep the main thing the main thing, really. You yeah, stay focused. That's right. That's right. Okay. We love what we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how couples are. I don't care if it's working couples or married couples or boy and girlfriend or uh, just friends. You know, yeah. it's you know you, you're together all the time. You're working right. together all the time, and it's great that y'all been able to, to to keep it there uh, as uh, as a unit there, as you as the pastor and, and you as the uh, worship pastor. And folks, if you don't know what a worship pastor is, uh, Jordan tells. What that is? Basically, I, 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 I prepare the way for the word. We uh, have a worship team, and uh, so we uh, we uh, we get it. We kind of get in His presence, and we worship. We are a contemporary church, so we have a full worship band, a worship team, and singers. 
Uh, at our 9 o'clock and our 10.30 service, we sing a variety of music from the newest contemporary to the maybe a hymn to, to uh, everything we do from gospel to we, we, uh, we try to do a variety uh, for everybody. So uh, it's a great, great thing. We've got a lot of young people involved with it. So uh, worship is, is a very important part of our worship services here. Okay. Words of Jordan Davis, the worship pastor there at Turning Point uh, uh, Worship Center out there on South Palm Street. And a lot of folks probably don't realize there's a method, there is a pattern, there is a reason why certain songs are in order before the uh, the word is spoken, right? Right. Yeah. I don't care if it's a contemporary or if it's a traditional church, there's a pattern there. There's a reason why you start off one song and you end another song before the uh, pastor actually uh, gives the word. Yeah. And um, and so we have this morning Justin Mitchell, pastor at Turning Point, Jordan Davis. Once again, tell us what's going on this Sunday at Turning Point. Well, it's our it's our uh, Veterans Day service. Uh, we prepared it for all of the. Uh, we put it together for the community. We're going to honor uh, the veterans. Uh, we're excited about it because it's been. Uh, we we talked about this when this first began, and we wanted to put something together. Uh, so we, we actually are putting a memorial right there on the property with three flagpoles. Uh, we erected those on thir last Thursday, got those up, looks great. We're going to raise an American flag. Actually, the American flag has uh, been donated from one of our uh, members. His father was a veteran. Uh, they're going to be speaking at that ceremony. It's going to be great. Uh, and so uh, it's going to be a full day dedicated to the veterans at our 9 and 1030. We've got some uh, slideshows prepared, a lot of great things going on so hey if you like patriotic services come out and be with us at 9 or 10 30 there will be a little bit more involved at the 10 30 because we only have an hour at the nine o'clock service so uh um, but we'd love to have everybody it's going to be a great day okay once again located on south palm street here in jessup turning point right there on south palm near sunset boulevard we wish y'all the best i think that's a great thing that y'all are doing for the veterans uh here in our area and how tall or y'all's flagpoles that y'all just put up? Um, the tallest one is 25 foot, and the other two are 20. So you have the American 25, and then the uh, Christian flag, and then the turning point flag. Does the turning point flag kind of look like the emblem on your you got it, yes, shirt? Sir. Just yes, like sir. that? Okay. Yes, All right. And the Christian flag, uh, for folks who may not know, tell them what that kind of looks like. It's kind of predominantly white, and then it's got the uh, red cross in the corner with a, a blue square kind of behind that. All right. Okay. Well, gentlemen. Uh, good luck this weekend. Thank Hopefully it goes very well. Great sir. service that Turning Point's doing for our community. Awesome. Thank you all again. All right. Y'all have a good day. You too. All right. Big Dog Country Radio. I'm just going to go in and talk to Bob here real quickly. Uh, Bob, you have been mentioning, there's a gnat in here, um, that maybe a thousand people will decide whether the splash continues here in Wayne County. It's been going on now for about the last 12 years. And a lot of different projects. It's a safe bet. They say there's only 650 some votes thus far, and you got one day left, and most people early vote. We've seen that in the past. So three weeks of early voting, and um, you know, 16,000, 692 votes have been cast, so close to 700. So 300 people show up on Tuesday to get to 1,000, but 1,000 people out of 16,000 to inform the this important issue in Wayne County, which is kind of sad. You know, if you got, if you, but that's what it is. Yeah, you know, they'd have to have a fantastic turnout on Tuesday in order to get over 1,000, let's say even to 1,500 out of 16,000 registered voters to see if we're going to continue uh, with the splash to raise over $20 million to have all those um, community and also uh, countywide improvement projects and other things they want to do with the money uh, to help life better here in Wayne County. So it's just the mayor's race is scribbing. 37 people voted that for three weeks and they got 420 registered voters. So man, maybe less than 60 will decide that race. So. I don't know why people don't vote anymore. Yeah, I've already done it. We're talking about Veterans Day. I mean, people fought and died for this right for years. Women couldn't vote for years. Minorities couldn't vote. You know, go back and look at the history of what people fought for for that right to vote. And it's sad that Americans don't exercise that right. But yeah. We don't. You look at all these reflections, you know, 30 percent, 40 percent, you know. We seem to be uh, a, a big uh, event country. You know what I mean? We have the highest uh, of turnout when there's a presidential election, when actually your local officials in your town, your county, and your state actually have more say-so over what 
goes on your life for the laws and actually on a national level but we you know we love the super bowl we love the world series uh we love the uh, the, the march madness and the uh, and the nba finals uh, and so we just seem to be a big event country you know put the president election on a ballot people show up you show things as important as they splashed or your mayor or city council not as many people show up. we're just a big event country and it seems like in everything right uh, yes, I said I just don't understand why people are. It's a very important issue, in Wayne County. And, yeah, you thought people would get out, and you know, yeah, I don't care how you vote, just vote, just vote. Yeah. get out there and vote. Go ahead and put it on there. Well, Bob, we are out of time. I'm wishing you a good day. All right, the world famous Butcher Bob Show brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup.